I have water signs Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we are going to take a look at your person's thoughts and feelings about you today. It is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video where the show more section is. So just take a moment, hold a vision of your person in mind, and we'll go ahead and see what their thoughts of you are today. This is someone who thinks about you, and in particular, it feels like this is someone who's uh, doing some wishful thinking, some daydreaming, some fantasizing about you, especially with the Ace of Wands. There is a connection, there is an attraction, sparks do fly between the two of you. There is a chemistry that is definitely palpable and it's undeniable. Um, someone here feels like they want to get closer to you, someone here wants to grow a little bit more intimate with you especially with the ace of wands energy this person feels like they're at a bit of a distance to you um it feels like they want to get close but they may not know how to it could also be that maybe the two of you here have had some sort of conflict some sort of tension disagreement you may have had an altercation lately or a dispute of some sort basically some conflict right something has happened here which maybe has um, just put you out of alignment with one another put you out of sync with one another and now it feels like this is someone who wants to get close okay so someone who maybe wants to resolve things with you someone who is wanting to um, maybe also what, what what happened here between the two of you has given them insight a little bit more insight into the type of person you are and how you handle conflict and how you handle uncomfortable situations it's given them insight but it hasn't necessarily scared them away because from what i see with the ace of wands this is an energy feels that is feeling what the two of you have okay you guys can build and you can grow on that so even though there's some sort of friction they're okay um, they're okay with working and resolving through things they also feel a chemistry with you. This person feels very drawn to you. They feel very drawn to your energy. They're very sexually attracted to you, no doubt about it. It feels very magnetic here. This, this is someone who they can't get their eyes off you. Uh, and this is someone who wants to get close to you emotionally, physically, intimately as well. But there is something here that's keeping them... I'm going to say something that's holding them back, okay? And maybe this person doesn't necessarily know how you feel about them or, you know, you haven't necessarily voiced your um, emotions. He voiced, you know, how you feel about them and about the situation. This person feels as though they want you to give them more attention or they want you to give this connection a little bit more of your attention. So... They also feel you're someone who goes from hot to cold, okay? So sometimes they feel like there's a lot of chemistry and there's such a connection there and they feel very comfortable and they very they feel very close with you. But other times it's almost like you pull away. And I don't know if this is because you're an energy that easily absorbs other energies and you really know how to, you know, pick up on other people's energy and then in turn you respond and you feed off that. So for instance... If they're feeling a little bit funky that particular day or if they're feeling a little bit cold and standoffish you pick up on that energy you pick up on that vibe and then you respond okay in the same way so it could be that or I don't know if you're just someone who's a little bit hot and cold you might be a little bit confused about your feelings for this person confused about the situation but from what I can see your person is definitely receptive to your energy and they're picking up on that the Eight of Pentacles, they want to, they feel like the two of you are a good match. They feel like the two of you really get on. 
Um, if this is someone who's in a relationship or is involved with someone else, they their honest thoughts, they wish they had met you earlier in life so that the two of you ha actually had a chance, had a go at this, a fair go at this, because this person feels like you connect on so many levels and you guys share similar values, you share similar, um, like you're very compatible, similar passions, similar goals here. Um, and this person wishes that they had met you sooner than two of you had crossed paths because life could have been different, right? If the two of you have had some sort of friction or some sort of tension or conflict, this person wants to work through that. They may, I don't know, I think they're waiting for you to reach out and, you know, break the ice. They're waiting for you to reach out and break the silent treatment if you are giving them silent treatment. Or I don't know if this person kind of want to give them, want to, wants to give themselves some time and some space to figure things out. And I do see them wanting to reach out. I do see them wanting to connect um, reconnect with you here okay so this is someone who wants to work work through something resolve through something they want to make things right they may feel like they owe you an apology or they may feel like you owe them an apology but I see them nevertheless coming in probably apologizing probably explaining themselves I see them wanting to work through something here they want to fix it with the Eight of Pentacles, they want to make things right, they want to right or wrong, they want to move past this, move on from this and move past this, whatever that source of friction or tension was for you. This person is also um, seeing that recently, especially during this disagreement or the d disconnection or whatever fallout that you've had recently, this person is seeing more and more of your patterns okay like for example your behavioral patterns how you respond in uncomfortable situations this person is noticing more and more the type of person that you are and how you respond to certain situations so they're just they're getting to know you i think with each passing day this person is getting to know you that little bit more You've mentioned, I think there's something here that worries this person. You've mentioned something to this person about you possibly traveling or you possibly going away in the future. This person worries because they feel like if you do go away and if you do do some traveling that you'll forget all about them and that this connection will suffer as a result and that, you know, they could possibly miss an opportunity with you here so something that you've mentioned to them in particular about traveling or maybe living or staying abroad somewhere um, whether it's at a different country or whether it's in a different city or state that bothers them they may not have said anything to you but I see that it is bothering them they are excited to take you out they're excited to see you next this person is and again even if you have been fighting or you have been going through some sort of funk with one another lately this person is looking forward to seeing you next this person is looking forward to taking you out you you make them feel really good about themselves this person loves being around you this person loves your energy the vibe that you give off they love that they find conversations with you very interesting and stimulating this person loves being around you they like what they see so far mind you that they, they haven't seen everything right um they're still getting to know you. There's still, I'm seeing that there's room in this connection for this to be so much more than what it is. But from what they see so far, they're like, they do like it. They like you. They like your energy. They like your vibe. They like what you put out. Okay, this person is definitely responding to your energy. They feel really good about themselves when they're with you. They just feel good in general when they're with you. It's a great feeling. Um, Look, for those of you who have been fighting with this person or if you had some sort of disconnect, discord with them, I do see that this is someone who wants to move past that, okay? So don't worry, the two of you will figure things out around that. You'll figure a way around this tension. Otherwise, I also see that this person is playing cool. This person is playing it cool. They are trying to hold back and fight their feelings for you. They don't want to come on too hot, too strong, too soon. They they don't want to move or rush. You know, they don't want to move too fast or, or rush 
through anything so I see them kind of holding back their feelings for you or kind of trying to fight their feelings for you but there's a lot of attraction let me tell you that I'm also seeing that there is some sort of competition I don't know if this person is involved with someone else and they're kind of comparing you to someone else or they're comparing this person to you or you might have other competition when it comes to this individual but let me tell you you're definitely emerging victorious if that's the case all right and these are your messages thanks so much for watching and listening please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing to this channel bye for now